good morning okay so today let us study the next part of your embedded systems that is the quality attributes of embedded systems okay so when i say quality attributes okay of an embedded system these attributes indicate the quality of the embedded system they tell how is the quality of the embedded system okay and in this quality attributes there are two types one is called as what the operational quality attribute other one is non operational quality attribute okay then what do you mean by operational quality attributes that means when the embedded system is working whenever it is in operation we have to look at these attributes they indicate the quality of the embedded system whenever the embedded system is functioning okay whenever it is in operation okay then non operational quality attributes means they indicate the quality of the embedded system when it is not in operation or whenever it is at rest okay so there are two types of quality attributes which are those operational quality attributes other one is non operational quality attributes operational quality attributes means they indicate the quality of the embedded system whenever the embedded system is performing its function or whenever it is online or it is doing its function it is on non operational quality attributes means they indicate the quality of the embedded system whenever the embedded system is not functioning it is at rest it is offline okay now let us see the first one what which are the operational quality attributes okay so the first operational quality attribute is the response we call it as response okay so response means what how quickly the embed system is going to respond to the given input okay it indicates how fast how quick is my embed system okay so this is the first major of the quality of embed system whenever it is functioning for example i have a printer i have a printer printer is an example for what the embed system okay so whenever i give the print command okay the response indicates how quickly the printer is going to print the given page so when i give the print command immediately it should start printing the page okay then i say that the response of the printer is very good suppose the printer takes a lot of time after giving the print command if the printer takes lot of time to print then i say that the response of the printer is not that good okay so this is the first quality that is this is the first attribute which indicates the operational quality of the printer when it whenever it is printing understood okay so it indicates how fast the embed system is going to work for example in a printer okay so after giving the print command how quickly the printer is going to print the page that is the first quality attribute that is called as response okay then which is the next attribute here that is throughput the throughput indicates the efficiency of the system okay efficiency so actually the actual the definition of throughput is it is given as the ratio of output by input that means how much output is produced for a given input okay for example i have a printer again okay then what is the throughput of a printer for example in one minute how many pages can be printed by the printer so how many pages the printer is able to print within one minute or within five minutes or in half an hour that is called as the the throughput of the printer some of the printers will be fast some of the printers will be slow so the throughput indicates how efficient the system or how much output the embed system is able to produce within a specified amount of time okay so it is it can be defined as what the rate of production or the rate at which the process is being done by the system okay over a period of time okay for example i have a card reader okay then card reader is an is an embed system then throughput of the card reader means what how many cards the the card reader can process or it can read within one hour or within one minute okay that is called as the throughput of the card reader this is the second operational attribute of the embed system okay so throughput indicates what the efficiency of the system and the first quality response indicates what the quickness or how fast the system reacts to the given input and the next quality attribute is operational quality attribute is reliability okay so reliability is a major of okay how much 
परसेंटेज द यूजर कैन डिपेंड अपॉन द प्रॉपर फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द सिस्टम ओके दैट मीन्स आई हैव अ प्रिंटर सो रिलायबिलिटी मीन्स द प्रिंटर शुड प्रॉपर फंक्शन प्रॉपरली विदाउट एनी प्रॉब्लम्स ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल द प्रिंटर गोज डाउन फॉर ओनली टेन मिनट्स विद इन वन ईयर देन आई कैन से दैट द प्रिंटर हेज गॉट वेरी हाई रिलायबिलिटी बट इफ द प्रिंटर ब्रेक्स डाउन every now and then then i say that the printer is not that reliable okay so if there is the print the any given embedded system it is if it is able to function properly without any problem for a longer period of time then i say that it has got a good reliability but if the embedded system functions but intermittently it goes down then i say that okay the reliability of the system is not that good okay so reliability indicates what the Amount of time for which the system is functioning properly, okay, it is represented in terms of percentage of the on time, okay, that is called as a reliability. Which is the next point, the operational quality attribute that is called as maintainability, okay. So as you know, embedded systems are made up of what they hardware and software both. So whenever hardware means they are bound to undergo some problem, they need the repair work. okay so that is called as maintenance maintainability okay so for example i have vehicle the vehicle needs periodic service okay that is called as maintenance okay so there are two types of maintenance one is called as periodic maintenance other one is maintenance due to unexpected failures what do you mean by periodic maintenance of an embedded system okay periodic maintenance means for example for every 6 months or every 1 year i will get my printer serviced so that there should not be any problem okay so to avoid any problems for my printer what i'll do i'll get it serviced for every 6 months or every 1 year okay so <coughs> this is called as preventive maintenance or scheduled maintenance okay even though there is there are no problems with the printer i'll get it serviced for every 6 months or 1 year to avoid any errors that is called as periodic maintenance or scheduled maintenance and there is one more type of maintenance that is called as maintenance due to unexpected failures now if the printer is functioning properly but suddenly if the printer stops functioning will you wait till the 6th month to get it serviced or you will get it uh, repaired immediately so periodic maintenance is for every 6 months or one year but if there is some failure or some error if the printer stops printing then i have to get it repaired immediately Okay, otherwise i will not get my work done so whenever the, the system gets repaired due to any failure or any malfunctioning then it is called as the maintenance due to unexpected failure okay then see here this reliability and this maintainability these two are complementary to each other if the system is very highly reliable then there is less maintainability maintenance is very less if this reliability is less then this maintenance becomes high okay these two are complementary to each other okay so reliability is more maintenance will be less reliability is less maintenance will be more okay for any given embedded system the next one is operational attribute the next one it is security okay so security in the sense security of data the embedded system some important embedded system they will be having some sensitive data okay so that it, that data should be protected okay then how to protect that see here confidentiality integrity and availability these three together they constitute what is called as the security of the given data okay so any important data in an embedded system it should be protected okay then how to protect you have to consider these three factors one is confidentiality and the other one is integrity and the other one is availability so what do you mean by confidentiality confidentiality means it is protecting the data from unauthorized access okay for example in a company there is an important embedded system it has got some sensitive data okay confidentiality means that important data should be made accessible only to some selected people in the factory for example the manager or the owner of that company should be able to see that data only he should be able to access the data no other person in the company should be given permission to access that data that is called as confidentiality okay so confidentiality means 
only for selected people that data is made available okay then integrity what do you mean by integrity of data see here it integrity means it is protecting the data against unauthorized modification okay so this data is made available to everybody everybody can see the data what is there but nobody should be allowed to change that data only they can view the data they cannot modify the data okay that is called as integrity okay so suppose in our lab we have one important software that software can be made available to all the students but none of the students should be made none of the students should be able to modify that software that is called as integrity integrity means what the data is made available to everybody but nobody should be allowed to change it then the last one is availability of the data okay sometimes there is some data that data should be made available only to authorized users those who have username and password only they should be able to log into the system they should be made to access the data that is called as availability okay so these three factors here confidentiality integrity of the data availability of the data these three together okay they indicate the safety of the data in an embedded system this is also one more very very important quality attribute of the embedded system whenever it is operating or whenever it is in action okay in the last attribute is safety okay so whenever we are using some embedded systems in a factory or some in some place okay due to the breakdown of the embedded system there may be chances that some damages may occur to the persons who are operating the embedded system or to the nearby people now whenever any damage or whenever any failure occurs to the embedded system now we should design the system such that the damage caused to the people who are operating it and or for all the nearby people should be very less okay we should design the system such that the damage should be minimal in nature okay that is called as the safety of the embedded system okay so these are these six parameters together they constitute what the of the operational quality attribute they indicate the quality of the embedded system when the embedded system is operating or whenever it is in online mode whenever it is functioning okay